If manipulation has been recommended for you, you may wonder what you're in for. Here to explain is Dr. Sean Riley from Tulsa Spine and Rehab. Dr. Riley, what are we talking about when we say manipulation? Sure, Scott. So manipulation is the cornerstone of what I do. I'm a chiropractor. Um, I've My specialty or my... You know, my biggest tool in my toolbox is going to be manipulation, um, also referred to as an adjustment, chiropractic adjustment, osteopathic manipulation. There's different, you know, um, there's different terminology, but manipulation essentially means we're going to mobilize or move, okay, a joint or some, some type of soft tissue. So related to the spine and manipulation, we can discuss that first. So what I'm, you know, like I said, I'm trying to figure out as a chiropractor where a patient, okay, I want to determine what their problem is first, okay? And let's just say it's mechanical, nonspecific, low back pain. There's no nasty uh, red flags or pathology. There's no significant disc bulge or herniation. Let's say that, Scott, you woke up yesterday, you know, you couldn't get out of bed, you were locked up, and you just have localized low back pain. So for this discussion, let's use mechanical low back pain. You know, I'm going to determine what your your problem is. And from there, I'm going to make a, a, a bigger determination if manipulation is a good treatment option for you and if it's going to be effective. So you have mechanical low back pain, and through your exam, I determined that you have some restrictions limitations in motion in your lumbar spine or your low back, okay? What happens when we develop these limitations, one of the things that can happen is that it it breaks down function. So, you know, I I read something the other day that said, you know, movement is life, and I I believe in that. I mean, things are, we got to keep moving. You know, even as we get older, I talk to patients about, you know, that's kind of one of our philosophies, keep moving, keep walking, keep moving. So, you know, if you can imagine your elbow joint, If you tried to bend your elbow and it's stuck and it won't move, it's obviously you can imagine how that would affect function, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So similarly with your low back, you know, if something's not moving properly, it can disrupt the function. And then once function's uh, disrupted, you can develop, you know, all the the nasty stuff, the inflammatory responses, you know, inflammation, pain, Mm -hmm. all the symptoms. And so what I'm doing or the way I explain manipulation to my patients, look, I'm trying to find something that's stuck. Okay. And I'm going to increase motion in that to improve the function with improved function. Okay. Your symptoms should subside. All right. So on a deeper level, if we wanted to get into like a little neurophysiology, we'll keep this, I'll try to keep this as simple as I can. A lot of times my patients will say, well, you know, why, why is it when you adjust me, I just, I feel good right then and there. It's, it's like instant relief. What happens is you have these nerve fibers, okay. All throughout your body called nociceptors. And so they're the bad, they're the bad ones. I mean, those are the things that are going to, you know, you're going to feel pain. And then you have other little nerve fibers called mechanoreceptors. And so those are the receptors that when you move something, it feels good. So when you mobilize a joint or adjust it or manipulate it, it actually fires these mechanoreceptors and kind of blocks the nociceptors. So that's why I tell, I'll have patients that will come in or I'll do a little health talk and they'll say, well, Sean, kind of what's your bread and butter? I mean, what would you say manipulation is going to be best well served to? And I tell them acute low back pain. Every time I'll go to acute low back pain or, you know, quick low back pain, meaning you woke up the last couple of days, you have localized low back pain really with no trauma. Manipulation is a really effective tool for those types of cases. Now, once we get something moving and, you know, mobilize and get it functioning properly, we want to maybe transition patients into some type of um, stability training with injuries and so forth and, you know, low back dysfunction and problems, there's likely going to be some weakness or some stability component. It might be to, you know, we talk about the core and the trunk. So I want to adjust them and manipulate them, use that, that therapy treatment to make sure things are moving properly initially, and then hopefully transfer that or kind of transition them to more of a stability phase of their care if they need it. But that's why, you know, when someone's adjusted, you know, they, they might feel some instant relief because we're firing some of those uh, receptors and we're blocking some of the, the nasty ones. So you talk about instant relief, but you know what the, the flip side is. People say, oh, man, I'm going to go in and see Dr. Riley. And, yeah, he'll eventually fix, fix me up. But, boy, it could be painful in the interim there. I mean, can it be uncomfortable it's sometimes? It's a great question. I'd, you know, there's a lot of information out there related to manipulation. Is it safe? Is it effective? 
is it painful? You know, is it uncomfortable? So first off, like I, I discussed, it is paramountly important that we determine it's a, the proper treatment. So if a patient has a severely herniated, herniated disc or maybe a fracture, I mean, obviously, no way. I mean, manipul- that's, a, that's dangerous. But for mechanical back pain and neck pain and those types of disorders, very, very safe and effective tool. The manipula- in I pride myself on in my clinic that I want to, you know, if you, if you get a joint in the right position, you don't have to pl- apply a, a lot of force to it. A lot of times patients come in, they say, you know, I, I saw the movie where the guy's head got twisted around. It <laughs> scared the hell out of me. You know, you would, there's hardly any rotation or motion. You, you really just, if you get on an, an area that needs to be moved, you don't have to put a lot of force into it. So it's, you know, sometimes patients might complain of, you know, residual soreness, like muscle soreness that evening after like they had an ex- exercise. So I think it's important that you know, you, you, you might ice it that evening, but very, very safe and effective when indicated. You know, it's not going to be the, the end-all treatment for everything, but a lot of research is coming out, you know, showing the effectiveness in acute neck and low back pain. It just needs to make sure it's, it's an indicated uh, treatment modality. Dr. Riley and his team at Tulsa Spine and Rehab can deliver the treatment and care you need to address the specific ache or pain bothering you. All you have to do is give them a call, 918-743-3737. 